What's up guys, your boy Jay Fishy here today and guess what guys, I brought you guys to a pier out here in St. Pete today. Uh, yeah guys, not much to say but let's get the lines in the water. Oh well, I guess there's a couple things to say guys, uh, we're using live shrimp and uh, yeah it's a beautiful Saturday morning out here. This place is about to get packed but uh, hopefully we're the ones out here getting lucky guys. And uh, yeah, so if I catch anything guys, I'll see you all in a bit. Alright guys, so we're going to walk the pier pretty far. See where it's not too crowded and get on them guys the only bad thing about here is i did hear that there's a lot of like rocks structure basically for the fish to be able to uh uh snag you on so hopefully i don't lose too many leaders but at the same time as long as i'm catching them guys i ain't too worried about it <laughs> and look at that guys we got cargo ships coming out of the st pete area right here it's a beautiful saturday guys people out here enjoying the beach but well, we're gonna be out here fishing all right guys Right guys, well we came to this pier out here, St. Pete. Uh, we're gonna try to fish for these mangrove guys. That's what we're targeting. Anything big too would be nice, but uh, I've heard the mangrove are biting over here. So let's give it a shot guys and see what happens. Damn, he's actually big. That's a lot of bait. Cast, first catch. Might be keep, oh no, I think keeper's 14 for these. Dang, let's go. Going back down. Get out of here. Look at all that bait. Jesus. <laughs> Eventually. PB, this thing is huge. Look at them compared to the shrimp. <laughs> Man, I gotta measure this one up. What do you guess? 14? You think 13? Quick little update of the cooler. Look at that. It's mangrove day today. Oh damn. I'd be down with that. But slaying the mangrove out here today. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> A few moments later. I thought I broke uh, five a piece. Thought I broke my record last time. Look at this one. Jesus. Another one for the cooler. Ooh. All right, guys. Well, we're out here on the pier, slaying those mangroves. Uh, man, you guys seen it. Caught crazy big ones. But uh, for now, we ran out of shrimp, so we're gonna go re-up and get back at it. See you. story of the day guys broken leaders but we're getting the mangrove so we got to keep going super small oh what a day we got the mangrove guys but that's it nothing else was biting i had to flounder too but got too many snags out here i almost ran out of hooks <laughs> but it was a good one guys got some lunch got some dinner Let's get out of here. All right, guys. Well, let me show you out to this bounty. It was actually pretty insane. A little bit. Look at these. Bro, look at these mangrove, guys. These were the biggest mangroves I've ever caught. Literally, my 100% my, uh, PB. I'll show you guys right uh, right now how much they uh, measured. But uh, I bleed them out and uh, I'm about to wash them up. I'll probably clean them in the morning so I can get ready to cook them, guys. But, man, this is the biggest one I've ever caught. Look at these, guys. These were uh, some pretty good mangrove sizes. The next day. All right, guys. Well, it's the next morning now. Uh, yesterday, I ended up coming home super late after the trip. We kind of went out to get some food, all that, you know. Got home, and I wasn't in the mood, really, to clean the fish, guys. So, it's the next day now. And uh, I'm going to show you guys our bounty. And, guys, let me tell you, these mangrove we're monsters guys i'll show you guys right now man oh my 
god, guys. The biggest mangrove I've ever caught. Matter of fact, people at the pier were looking at them and telling me how, like, just look at that one, guys. I think, actually, I think this is the smallest one. Well, both of those, they're about, like, barely keeper size. And then you got these two massive ones over here. And then I've got, I got this little grunt, too, that I ended up bringing, guys, because, uh, remember we had grunt the other day. I wanted to show you guys how good it was. But look at this, guys. This is basically what I wanted to see you guys to see. You guys see that? Oh, it's kind of hard for you to see the full thing, but, uh, he's a little, he's almost 13, guys. Here, I'll show you guys. Bring the camera a little over here. There's the uh, tip. Look at his tail, guys. Almost the 13. That was crazy. Oh, actually, I don't know. this ain't gonna work any better, but uh, yeah, guys. So that was this is my PB snapper ever, and uh, yeah, I've got fly coming in. Let me up. I think I'm gonna end up keeping these two whole guys. I'm just gonna uh, descale them basically and clean them up. I already got the guts out yesterday before I uh, left them in. And I might use the little guy here for, for a sandwich right now, just to have some lunch. And uh, I'll probably keep this one just cleaned up too. That way I could just cook them whole because uh, the way these snappers are guys, I want to taste all of it. <laughs> but uh, all right guys, let me, um, let me get started. All right guys. Well, unfortunately my neighbor's dog came out while I was doing this. So, uh, the audio is pretty terrible, so I'm just gonna do a little voiceover. But uh, as you guys can see, I'm just pretty much descaling these uh, snapper with uh, with the spoon method. Uh, I don't, sometimes I use a knife, sometimes I use a spoon. I pretty much just wanted to show you guys that you could do it with a spoon also, and it's just as easy as the knife, guys. Or it's actually probably a little easier to be honest. It, I mean, it is a a process that takes some time, guys. But hey, it's all worth it when you're eating it. <laughs> but yeah, guys. So this is just pretty much a clip of me uh, descaling these big snappers that I caught. Cause I wanted to cook these ones whole guys. And also, I guess I'll take this time to say it guys. Um, either I lost footage for this episode or I was so in tune to the fishing that I forgot to record most of it. But, uh, I don't have the clips of the other mangroves and I don't have the clips of the grunt guys. I thought I had all of that, but now that I'm editing and uh, doing all this, I see I don't. Right guys. So I got these three, uh, these scaled and cleaned up now. And uh, now I'm just going to fillet my lunch for today, guys. These are going to probably be for another, like a little family cookout. I like to give my family some of the fish I catch too. So uh, let me uh, fillet these other ones and I'll see you on a bit. All right, guys. This is pretty much just going to be for my little lunch right now. Just going to make a sandwich. Uh, I brought this grunt home again. See if I could do a better job at filleting them this time. Not like the other day, but we'll see, guys. Let me just do this snapper. I always do. One worst part about filleting fish for me here is these dang flies, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's everyone though. You know the flies just love it. One thing that's definitely helped me with filleting now, guys, is uh. What I do is I sharpen my knife every time I'm gonna fillet. And it really does help. Look at that, guys. That is some pretty meat. You know, sometimes I'm pretty good at getting these, at uh, doing these guys, and other times I don't do the best job. But look at that, clean, clean fillet. I just gotta um, get the pin bones, and this uh, rib meat off, there's that. Feel for these pin bones, which for a while, I didn't even know they were in mangrove, guys. <laughs> you guys will see in my last uh, filleting video, I was talking about how I didn't know that. I really didn't, but look at that, guys, beautiful. So uh, yeah, let me clean these the other side up and I'll show you on a bit. Nice little other pretty fillet. All right, guys, now it's time to do this grunt, which I struggled with the last time. I'm gonna try to do them just like I did the snapper. Let's see what happens.
they definitely have like a wider rib cage i think is what it is because it's real bony right here when i try to get through it's almost like i missed it already Okay, this thing. Let's see what comes out of this, guys. <clears throat> Not bad. Look at that, guys. That meat is nice, too. Let me just get these uh, rib cage out. Boom. Nice little pretty fillet there. All right. There it is, guys. This one came out a little smaller. Nice little piece of grunt there. Yeah, guys. So you've seen it. Here's my uh, lunch for today. A little grunt and some... Uh, snapper real nice white meat look at that guys looks beautiful and then i got my uh other ones for a cookout some other time guys let me get all this cleaned up and i'll see you guys in the kitchen see ya all right guys it's just gonna be a simple quick little lunch today just gonna do a snapper sandwich using uh this fish fry bread mix some you know what i mean i'm just gonna put a little bit of seasonings on this and some uh uh, flour and then I'm dropping it into egg wash and straight to the uh, fish fry guys But yeah, let me uh get this all readied up guys. It's nothing nothing too challenging nothing too difficult Just some good lunch all Right guys. Well, I've seen that some people say to put a little bit of hot sauce in your egg wash And it just gives it a little more of a kick and like you guys know I like me some spicy food. So I'm gonna try it All right, and of course Fashionable J fishy way we're putting this old bay blackened seasoning on my fish just a little bit of salt guys nothing too crazy rub it in and repeat on the other side all right oil is getting nice and hot I almost forgot to put a little bit of flour on them, guys. I normally make like a little, uh, I guess like another little container with the flour mixture in it, but uh, such a small amount of fish today, guys. I'm just gonna do this. All right, guys, that oil sounds ready too. I hear it in the background. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, just regular fish fry stuff here, guys. Drop it in the egg mixture, put it in the uh, breading. And then we're gonna throw it on that oil, guys. I'm gonna do the grump first just because uh, just a little snack I can eat right before my sandwich. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully this comes out delicious as it looks and smells because this seasoning just smells good as it is, guys. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. All right. All right, guys, the oil is nice and hot. Drop it in the ground. All right, and while that cooks, I'm gonna get the snapper ready too. Here's the main course, guys, the snapper. I'm gonna get a little more of this breading because the grunt took up quite a bit. Oh yeah, there we go. Just drop it all over it, just like that. Get it all in the little cracks, guys, because sometimes the breading doesn't like to get in there. Give these guys a flip. Oh yeah, guys, look at that. Nice and crispy. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, the good old smell of fried fish, guys. Gotta love it. All right, guys, these are ready. Nice and crunchy, too. Oh, yeah, guys. Man, I kind of like how this breading did them. Well, you know what? Actually, that's not fair, because with the other breading, the thing was, I just never used the egg wash, guys. But uh, yeah, let me get the snapper on here now. Here comes the main course, guys. Man, that grunt smells so good, guys. Ooh, look at that. Let it cool off a little and I'll give it a try. Second piece of the snapper for the sandwich, guys. Just dropping a little more breading on it, and that's ready. 
guys, this snapper smells so good. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoo, this is gonna be a great sandwich. Probably different than the other one I did just because of how crispy this one's gonna be. I know I'm gonna love it. Ah, it smells so good, guys. All right, guys, this is ready to come off. Nice and crispy. I gotta get the next one on there now, guys. Here we go. Oh, it's getting closer and closer to eating time, guys. <laughs> All right, let me give it a flip, guys. Oh, yeah, nice and crispy. All right, guys, this one's ready to come off now. Woo, look at that, guys. All to myself. <laughs> And it doesn't get any fresher, guys. These things were swimming around yesterday, and now they're about to be in my stomach. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, before I put my sandwich together, which you guys see right there, <laughs> which is right here, I'm going to uh, try this grunt out, guys, just to give it a second taste. I felt like last time it was such a small amount, I couldn't uh, really tell. But look at that, guys, that white meat. Oh, yeah. But yeah, guys, one of the main reasons I want to try this grunt again is because uh, I was talking to my buddy, and uh, he was telling me if I was sure because he's known grunt as like a trash eating fish so i told him i said man I, I had it the other day and it was good to me and he was like man try it again let me know what you think so uh let's see what we think guys that's good it's good guys i, I can't say nothing else about it it's good it's a good eating fish if you guys ever catch them Take them home, guys. They're good. You don't get much meat. But that's good. All right. Well, here's some of that mayo racha sauce I was telling you guys about. Mayonnaise, I should say. I'm going to do it on both sides, actually. So much I like this stuff. <laughs> Let me uh, spread that in, guys. Get my uh, good uh, fresh veggies over here and then put my snapper on, guys. And I'm ready. All right, guys. Look at that sandwich. Man, you can't beat this, guys. I'm telling you, you can't. You got to do it, guys. You guys got to try your main grill like this. It's a little bit of a long recipe just because of the frying, but, man, you can't beat it, guys. Oh, yeah. Time for the first bite, guys. Here's the thing, guys. I've already done this recipe on my on my channel, too. This isn't the first time. I just liked it that much, and it's it's for me, it's a quick recipe. I, I, I mean, it's the morning. I was cleaning fish. I said, you know what? I'm gonna make myself a snapper sandwich, guys. And this here looks so good. Let's give it a try. <laughs> that is too good. It's just unreal. <laughs> Man, that's so good. I would definitely say, um, the one thing I tried different, which, uh, not too different, but, uh, that hot sauce and the egg wash, guys, man, I can taste it. And it's so good. Like I said, I love a kick in my food. So, man, that, to me, made a big difference in the sandwich, guys. Seriously. And I know you can also use any other kind of condiment sauce you guys like. If, if you guys are, like, barbecue fans or, like, something like that. Soy sauce. Soy sauce would probably be a good one, guys. Just drop a little in your egg wash when you're dipping your, your fish in and, uh, man but uh anyways guys i am starving so i'm about to pig out on this food here guys but i appreciate you guys tuning into the episode i hope you guys enjoyed my content i hope you guys enjoyed me taking you guys to that pier yesterday the pier was awesome guys honestly the only thing i can say is um i lost so much tackle on the jetty the mangrove will bite and take you right into the rocks or structure i don't know i'm not sure what it is but uh we lost so many hooks and leaders guys it was crazy but that's the name of the game, right, guys? They don't want to get caught either. So, hey, guys, like I said, this is delicious. You guys got to try it. Uh, it doesn't get any fresher than this, guys. As you guys can tell, this fish is literally from me catching it yesterday to today. It's, it's already on my dinner table, ready to eat. And, uh, yeah, guys, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it then, and I hope you guys stick around, guys. I hope you guys can leave some uh, comments down in the comment section, tips for uh, recipes, uh, maybe something that you guys can tell me on how I can prevent the snapper from going into that structure guys Am I supposed to be quicker or what's going on? But um, yeah guys, I appreciate everything you guys do for my channel uh, 
a view means everything to me. Like I said, it helps my channel grow and that's what I need right now. So uh, I hope you guys can view my videos. Um, I hope you guys sub to my channel if you can. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys back for the next adventure next week. Remember, I upload every Wednesday, guys. So uh, stay tuned for the next adventure because it's a good one. Always stay positive and have a good mindset, guys. And uh, have a blessed week. And I'll see you guys back here next week. See ya.